Hey guys, welcome. In the next lecture, we are going to integrate Firebase. But before then, we are going to install the required packages we need in order to use Firebase. Okay, now what you have to do is to head up to your browser and head up to pub.dev. And the first package we need is the Firebase core package. Okay, search for this. And the first one over here. And basically, you can see what it does over here. But in the future, you're going to see the fullness of this. Okay, copy this and head back to your VS Code and then head back to your postback.yml file. And we're going to paste this right after this Flutter SVG. And for now, we're not going to be using Ctrl and S to save because we are still going to have some more. Okay, back to this. And the other package we need is the Cloud Firestore package. You click on this and you can also see what it does, but in the future, you're going to see the fullness of this. Copy and paste, okay? And back again, click on this, okay? We also don't need the Firebase auth package because definitely users are going to be able to create an account with us and copy this and paste again. Okay. And also another package we need is the Firebase storage because definitely users are going to be able to upload images. So we have to install the Firebase storage package. Okay. Click on this. Okay add this over again and one additional package i'm going to have for now is the image picker because users are going to be able to pick image from their gallery and in order to do that we have to install this package called image picker and you can see we have this images picker but the one we are interested in is this image picker okay and we just have to copy this and paste this over here. Okay, we have the Cloud Fire Store to store all our data. We have the Firebase port in order to authenticate users. We also do have the Firebase storage in order to upload our images. And we also do have the image picker in order to be able to pick images from our gallery or camera. Okay, now we can use Ctrl and S to save. 